Before we begin, if future warfare, secret weapons, and the technologies shaping tomorrow's battles fascinate you, subscribe now, because what you are about to hear is not science fiction, not speculation, but a weapon the world once buried and is now quietly bringing back. Imagine stepping into the largest futuristic military showroom ever constructed. Endless steel and glass stretch above you, soft blue light reflects from polished floors, and at the center of this massive hall stands a machine that was once declared a failure. Silent, immense, unmoving, this is the US Navy railgun, a weapon that refuses to stay dead. No flames, no explosions, no missiles attached. Just raw power waiting to be unleashed. The question is not what this weapon does. The real question is why it has returned. The railgun was never designed to be ordinary. From its earliest concept, it was meant to rewrite the rules of warfare. Unlike traditional weapons that rely on gunpowder or rocket fuel, the railgun uses electromagnetic force. Two parallel metal rails generate an intense electric current, accelerating a solid projectile to hypersonic speed. No explosives, no warhead, only kinetic energy. When a railgun fires, it launches a projectile at speeds exceeding Mach 6. At that velocity, the impact energy alone is enough to rip through steel, concrete, and reinforced structures. The target does not explode. It collapses. For the US Navy, this weapon once promised everything modern naval warfare demanded. Extreme range, unmatched accuracy, and a cost per shot far lower than any missile system. A single projectile could strike targets hundreds of kilometers away with devastating effect. For years, it was hailed as the future of naval combat. Then, almost suddenly, it disappeared. By the late 2010s, the railgun faced serious obstacles. The energy demands were massive. The rails degraded faster than expected. Integrating the system onto existing ships proved difficult. At the same time, hypersonic missiles began to dominate military headlines. Faster, flashier, and easier to deploy, they pushed the railgun out of the spotlight. In 2021, the US Navy quietly stepped back. Many analysts declared the railgun program dead. A failed experiment, an idea ahead of its time. But weapons do not truly die. They wait. As global tensions increased, the reality of modern naval warfare became impossible to ignore. China and Russia invested heavily in anti-ship missiles and hypersonic weapons designed to overwhelm defenses. A modern warship could face dozens of incoming threats simultaneously. Defensive interceptor missiles work, but they are expensive. Extremely expensive. In a real conflict, Firing million-dollar missiles to destroy cheaper incoming weapons creates a dangerous imbalance. The math no longer works. The Navy needed something different. A weapon that could fire repeatedly, rapidly, and at a fraction of the cost. A weapon that relied on speed instead of explosives. And quietly, without public attention, the railgun began its return. This time, the approach was different no oversized cannons designed to change everything at once. Instead, the focus shifted to advanced projectiles, improved power systems, and integration with modern warships. Today's destroyers generate far more electrical power than those of the past. Systems designed for lasers and electronic warfare also support railgun technology. The railgun is no longer competing with lasers or missiles. It complements them. In this massive showroom, digital displays show simulated trajectories across open oceans. Holograms demonstrate how a railgun projectile pierces through hulls at hypersonic speed. Visitors see the weapon not as a prototype, but as a solution. This is not about spectacle. It is about practicality. What makes the railgun truly terrifying is its simplicity. There is no explosive payload to detect no rocket plume to track. The projectile is small, dense, and incredibly fast. Enemy radar might detect it, but detection does not mean interception. At hypersonic speed, reaction time disappears. By the moment a target understands what was fired, impact is inevitable. Unlike missiles, railgun rounds can be stored in large numbers. 
A ship equipped with a railgun can sustain combat far longer than one relying solely on missiles. This changes naval strategy entirely. It allows fleets to defend themselves against saturation attacks without burning through their most expensive resources. It gives commanders endurance, flexibility, and confidence. This does not mean the railgun is perfect. It still faces challenges, managing extreme heat, extending barrel life, and ensuring reliable power delivery remain critical issues. But technology has evolved. Advanced materials, solid-state power systems, and AI-assisted targeting are closing the gap that once held the railgun back. What was once impossible is now achievable. The revival of the railgun is not loud. It does not demand attention. That is what makes it dangerous. While the world focuses on hypersonic missiles and stealth aircraft, the railgun quietly matures in the background. It is being refined, optimized, and prepared. This weapon matters because it represents a shift in thinking. Speed over explosives. Precision over spectacle. Energy over fire. It is a reminder that the future of warfare is not always the loudest or the most visible. Sometimes, it is the weapon that arrives silently and leaves devastation behind. The US Navy railgun revival is not about reliving an old dream. It is about adapting to a new reality. A reality where ships must defend against overwhelming threats. Where endurance matters more than headlines. Where victory depends on efficiency as much as power. A weapon once written off as a failure now stands ready once again. Not as a promise, but as a warning. The railgun is no longer chasing the future. It is becoming part of it. If you stay till the end, you understand something most people don't. And if you want more powerful, realistic stories about future weapons, military technology, and the hidden systems shaping global power, subscribe now. Because what comes next will be even bigger, even deeper, and far more shocking.